Hello everyone, welcome back to this video series on clinical trials programming. So in one of the previous videos, we have seen that there are few oncology specific STTM domains in STTM implementation guide. So we will take a quick recap of what those three domains are and then we will see how to easily remember the variables in STTM TU domain. So what happens in an oncology clinical trial is, so we first identify the tumors present in the body of a patient and then we assess the or measure those tumors and then we assess the response of those tumors to the study treatment so the domain which we in which we store the list of tumors identified is our tu domain and then we store the measurements of those tumors in a domain named tr and then the response of those tumors would be stored in a domain named rs so now we will see how to easily remember the variables in TU domain. Let's say there is a patient who is participating in a clinical trial and he has undergone a scanning using MRI or CT scan. And let's say tumor is identified in lungs and also in kidney and pancreas, prostate gland and two lesions, one in stomach and esophagus and also one in liver so let's say all the tumors which are present in lungs kidney and pancreas are measurable which means the diameter of those tumors can be measured and let's say the diameter of the lesions present in prostate stomach and esophagus and liver may not be measured accurately so the tumors which we in which we can measure the diameter exactly will be considered as target lesions and the other lesions would be considered as non-target lesions. So we give a unique number to each of the tumor identified. Let's say we are identifying the uh, target lesion identified in the lung with T01 and then the lesion identified in kidney as T02 and the lesion identified in pancreas as T03 and then we are using an identifier of NT01 for prostate gland uh, tumor and then NT02 and 03 for the ones which are present in stomach and esophagus and the numbers NT04, 5 and 6 for the three lesions identified in the liver. So now we know that there are nine total tumors present in the body. So we will now move on to what are the questions that are being asked. So which clinical study is this? and then which subject is this and what is the date on which the scan is performed and what is the method of scanning whether it is MRI scanning or your CT scan or your x-ray and in some cases whether lesions are externally visible even photography would be sufficient so that method of scanning will also be collected and then the tumor identifier so we will as mentioned earlier we will give a unique number to each of the tumor identified in the body and we will store the that identifier and then what is the location of each of the tumor identified with the numbers and then laterality so what does laterality mean is the side in which it is affected in some places like lung and kidney we need to know whether it is on the left side or on the right side and then the tumor type so we are identifying the tumors with numbers so here in this case there are three target and six non-target so we will have a row for each of those tumors in your TU domain so whether a particular so we'll create a row for each of the tumor numbers so we will need to know what is the tumor type whether it is target tumor or non-target tumor of for all those nine numbers and then who evaluated so what happens is in most of the cases the scans would be evaluated by the investigators at the site and in some cases what can happen is the scans would be evaluated by the investigator at the site and also sent to a central reading facility wherein the uh, images or the scans from all the different sites would be evaluated centrally by other radiologists or oncologists so we need to know who evaluated whether it is the investigator or whether it is the oncologist or radiologist present at the central reading facility and then in some places what can happen is the 
same scan would be evaluated by multiple people so which means there will be multiple evaluators so in that case we need to know what is the evaluator identifier so we need this question also answered so now we will see what are the variables that would be used to store the information for all of these questions so we use the variable study id to store the study information and then we use u sub jd to store the value for the subject and then date of scan so we know that in sdtm domains the date variables will have a suffix of dtc as this is a date corresponding to the domain in tu so we store it in tu dtc and then scan method so we use a variable named tu method to store the scan type whether it is cri a ct scan or mri scan and then the tumor identifier so we will create a row for each of the tumors identifier we have t01 to t03 and nt01 to nt06 so we create a row for each of these tumors so we store that number t01 t02 etc in a variable named tu link id and then we store the location of that tumor in the variable tu loc so for example we will store as lungs for your t01 and kidney for your t02 row etc and then laterality so if we see for lung it is on the left lung so we would store the value of left in your on the row for t01 and let's assume that the tumor and kidney is on the right kidney so for the row where we are creating for t02 in the laterality we would store as right in a variable named tu lat and then tumor type so we said that there can be target tumors or non target tumors so the type of the tumor would be stored in the variable tu or res and the standardized form of it would be stored in your tu st re sc and then who evaluated we use the variable tu eval to store the information of who evaluated whether it is investigator or central reading facilities oncologist or radiologist and then if there are multiple evaluators so we would use the value of tu eval id to store the identification of that evaluator like radiologist 1 or radiologist 2 etc so in sdtm domain whenever we have a date variable collected and if it is a finding domain so we will automatically have a, the date associated with a visit number and visit and then we will have a specified target day for that visit so we store the value of that target visit in your visit dy variable and we derive epoch using our tu dtc so visit number visit visit dy and epoch we should be able to recollect these four variables or along with that we also will have tu dy the study day of your date collected in your tu dtc how many days far from your reference star date would be stored in your TUDY and whenever we say TUDTC these five variables should automatically come to our mind to you the relevant study day and the visit number visit visit DY and epoch so we are storing the information as target or non target in your TU or RES variable so we need a test CD for storing this information so we use the test cd of tum id and tumor identifier in the variable tu test cd so this is how we can easily remember the variables in your tu domain thank you for watching and keep learning